Hi everyone, so today I will be unboxing the Zedekandam, the version car. So, um, well, this is not my first Zedekandam uh, Master Grade. Um, I believe I have the very first one and probably I don't have the 2.0 version. I also have the real grade and also the perfect grade, but yeah, well, how 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 can you resist this, the version car set of Gundam, especially after assembling the double set of one? The double set of one is marvelous and unbelievable. Okay, and let's take a look on the other side. Now here's the weapon pack. So, the shield, the beam rival, and also it should be two missile launcher there. And also the the beam savers. Now here they should have said specification and uh, Vulcan gun times two beam rifle times one beam saber. Now grenade launcher. Yes, that's a grenade launcher. And here is the iconic uh, iconic head of Seto, which resembles a medieval helmet. Uh, the boosters and the hands and okay let's see oh, this on the side here version car a this is the aeug prototype transformable mobile suit okay now the aeug should be anti-earth un earth federation united group something like that okay on this side yes this is the Wave Rider form, which resembles this is one of the very well first units that can go through the atmosphere with no problem. I believe the Gundam went out before, but they're not in good shape. But this one you can just go straight down the atmosphere. Okay, they say the Seta Gundam celebrating the MG version car series. 20th anniversary so this is a big thing to the Zeta Gundam fans and let's take a look inside okay let's take a look at the first one now this one seems to be the leg armor leg parts not leg armor parts the leg parts and here uh, internal metallic parts because this involves a lot of transformation and a lot of small parts now this is the it should be the leg internal booster parts there right? and then you have the beam saber effect effect parts okay this should be more body parts here now the chrome parts interesting so they have this chrome parts here and I believe this chrome parts will be sticking out of the unit which should be similar to the double SATA unit Ah, uh, yeah, this is the should be definitely the wave rider, the backpack part. Okay, a lot of not really a lot of big parts, it consumes a lot of small parts. And this is the blue body parts, which a lot more than I expected, which should be good. Um, very good color separation and articulation. But for this unit, I will just give that a miss to the uh, paint, uh, painting. I think. Because from our last experience, the, the double setter is good enough without any paint. Good news, just only one small piece of stickers. Good. So most of the color separation has been done. This is the golden part, which was in the boosters. And this is the red part, which involves the shield and the wave rider side parts. Now this is the watermarker stickers which, well, 
Yes, could be a pain, but it it will one will uh, probably be missing it if you don't put those on because this definitely makes the unit a lot more handsome or else you will regret more more parts now a lot of body parts there and which consumes a lot of assembly not big parts so the parts are really definitely for the Wave Rider and this is the beam rifle and then a clear plastic part and also the white fenders for the waist and on the side there now here is the construction manual okay I will be expecting a lot from the version car ones and inside very nice so now everything got translation as I said before so be, and they have Japanese and English make sure you have everything and it looks really nice and handsome at the back of the uh, wave rider but it actually looks like a bit like Macross unit and they the way I call this the flying armor. Okay. We find that it's really nice. Okay. So the complete part list, which consists of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um not a lot when compared to this transformable unit. Okay. So this always start with the chest unit with the head on it. Uh, it. A lot of small parts going on, so you really need to be very detailed and careful to uh, do it on. But um, the one thing is, um, they didn't really tell you what parts you need. It states here how you should trim under gate material how you snipe the parts out from the frame but it didn't really tell you what what parts you need for assembling these parts and here they got warnings tightly fit the parts as far as they will go align the grooves align with the grooves okay this is uh, well I'll say a improvement but still so you need to go another part that means you need to go all the way to see what parts you need and then you snipe it off not really friendly for a MG especially a version car I would have expect more they should have a construction manual which should be better than a re 100 or full mechanics even full mechanics tells you what you need so do you know the thing i don't like you need to go back and forth those parts unless you got a divider the parts divider then you can get it off right away if not you need to go back and forth which can be a pain sometime so the upper body the torso done with the arms the waist unit Um, I would say it's straightforward wise. Okay. And afterwards, another special page regarding the design of the of the unit. It seems how they do the three D dimensional drawings interesting information extra information there even how the leg part bends and also the shield and here wow a lot of a lot of words alphabets i'll just go on the top taking on the challenge of the first transformable gundam's original design so um there's a there's a lot of information here. Oh, it's actually 
an interview with Katoki Hajime. Okay. Well, doesn't know why they put this in here. And especially it's not done yet. <laughs> Actually, the second part of the assembly is in Delhi. Well, I'll, I will have to say I prefer mirror drawings other than an interview with Katoki. Well, some of you may be interested to look on it as well. And then on the flying armor pot. Special. And also the weapons. And now this teach you how to do the transformation. I believe the one of the part interesting is you don't need to change parts, which means after you assemble the whole unit, the whole unit can transform all the way. This is the beauty of the whole thing here. And you can see you just keep on doing on own your unit, then actually you you can assemble your own transformer on this part into Wave Riders setup, which makes design very difficult. Especially after design, you need to order articulation, the ratios need to be right, and at the end, the unit can stand on itself firmly. So, well, this has to be done afterwards, and I reckon I may not transform a lot because. Um, too much transformation might result in screwing up the unit, breaking a leg or breaking them joints. So this is how the whole thing is done. And they say there's also check here for more details about our runner recycling efforts. Okay. And here is the color guide. I think the beauty is just putting on the unit without further additional paint is already the back page. It's already a joy. This tells you how much effort they have been made on it. Well, um, I would say they are the only comment I have left for this one is if they give that very big bazooka for it, it will be awesome. Yes, because with the bazooka, it will resemble the whole thing and also the effect parts that comes out from the rifle. They use the rifle as a beam saber and I guess they don't have that part. Well, maybe they will take it out later as an expansion pack or another extra unit. You never know what Bandai will do up the next. So let's see. That's all.